Hi guys, today we're going to talk about the job interview. Well, let's imagine you found an amazing company, you sent out your resume and you got invited to that job interview. And this is wonderful. But now you might start feeling a little bit stressed out because, well, you really want this job. Plus, you like the job interview is not the natural environment for you, so that's totally understandable. And I want to tell you that I had been in such situations before in my life, in my career, and I figured out some tips that helped me to stay calm, confident uh, during this whole process, and actually enjoy it. So I want to share these tips with you today and if you're interested then let's start. So the tip number one is be prepared for your interview. And I know that might sound obvious to lots of you, but I have been talking to my friends, my colleagues, uh, different people and it turned out that there are lots of people who do not get ready for their interview. Personally, I think this is the number one mistake. When you are going to spend your precious time going to talk to some people, whether this is a live interview or this is a, like, I don't know, online conference, doesn't matter. You are going to spend your time on this. So if you are willing to do that, then please sit down and be ready for your interview. What I usually do, I scan the company website, I go through their uh, social media accounts, through all of the articles that have been written about this company in past few months. So any information is going to be useful. First of all, this will help you, of course, when you go to this, to this meeting and the company asks you questions like, um, why? Uh, did you choose this company? Why do you want to work for this company? What exactly do you like about this company? When you are ready, when you are prepared, then those questions will be easy for you to address. Okay? And if you're not, then of course you might feel a little bit stressed about this, you might get confused, and it might go in the really wrong direction. And we don't, don't want that. So be prepared because it will give you the internal calm feeling <laughs> uh, before, uh, before the interview and actually during this process. And this is the first thing. The second thing in this like preparation uh, part is that while doing that, you will scan lots of materials about the company and you might find things that you will really love and you will get confident about going to this interview about like spending your time this way or like you might find something that you will don't like or some information you will have doubts about this this is also okay but if you find something like this then you can sit down and decide okay i find something that i don't like do I really want to go to this interview? Uh, is it like the doubt that I want to address during this interview? Or this is something that I'm like 100% sure I will not accept? If this is something like that, then just don't go. And um, spend your time on the next job offer, on the, your search, uh, on anything else but the company that you don't want to work for. So both sides are great and uh, that's why I always do that and I can totally recommend to do that for you. Uh, if you do that, again, it, it will be comfortable for you to go to this meeting. This was the tip number one. The tip number two is extremely important. It's about understanding that the job interview is not only for the employer to challenge you, to ask you questions and to decide whether they want to work with you. This is true, but 
job interview is also for you to know whether you want to work for this company, for you to confirm your choice. And I challenge you to start thinking about this whole process like that. It's going to help you a lot. Um, what I usually do in such kind of situations, let's like I try to uh, trick my brain a little bit and do the exercise, the following exercise. Let's imagine that I have scheduled three job interviews next week. I try to um, try to figure out what I would do in one week. When each of those companies call me and tell me that I received the job. Now, what would I do? How would I pick one company? Because then I would be in the situation when I would make the final choice, not them. So, based on which criteria would I base my decision? How would I do that? Do I have enough data to make this decision? Or maybe I have some questions. Maybe I have some doubts that I need to address. Well, if you do such exercise before going to the interview, then the interview will be an amazing place to address all of that. And now you will trick your mindset that you will believe that you have all of those possibilities. And you will lead the discussion this way. It's not going to be only about the employer to follow their agenda, but you will have your own agenda for the meeting. And believe me, every company will notice this and they will appreciate this a lot. So it will give you not only the confidence and calm uh, during this process, it will also, of course, give you the extra points, um, extra points during this, uh, this uh, job search. And you will see the results. You will see how after one meeting like that, you will think about the job interview a little bit different way. So let's move to the tip number three. The tip number three, I guess it's also worth mentioning is be yourself. Don't fake anything. Don't try to pretend to be being the person that you are not. Again, <laughs> some obvious stuff, but uh, I realize that people usually try to make this first impression. They want to be the best version of themselves. And of course, this is also nice. Uh, this is great. But remember that if you want this job and if they accept you, then you will work for this company uh, for, for some period of time. You will spend your time with uh, those people, with this team. And uh, sooner or later, they will know the true you. And uh, the question is that if you're going to fake your personality during the work, will you be happy with that? And I guess no, um, at least for the majority of you. And if you start being yourself, and this is something like the different image from what you showed them during the interview, then... Uh, then they might not be um, not be okay with this. So remember, like keep in mind that nowadays there are so many possibilities, so many job offers. You can do lots of stuff, and don't try to catch up the first opportunity just because this they, this company was the first to call you, and you want to be the best version of yourself and make the awesome impression. Be you and try to find the company that values, appreciates you for who you are, how you work, what do you do, what is your um, style. You will find such company. Uh, so keep this in mind. <laughs> and 
I guess believe in this because if if you do, then everything is going to go this way and will work out for you. So those were my three tips. Those might be easy, obvious things for you, and I hope <laughs> this is this is this is it. But um, you know how it's in life that when we actually go through our life, then we tend to forget about such things. And today I wanted to remind you about them. I want you to focus on your mindset, on uh, understanding what you expect, what you want from this interview, from this job, from whatever you're doing. And yeah, I hope this video helped you on your journey. If yes, then of course uh, leave me the like or leave me some comments if you have any questions if uh, you want me to elaborate a little bit more on some topics and also please leave your comments in the section below i will read everything and i will tr do my best to address all of your questions and if you like the content like this then of course subscribe to my channel i'm going to upload the new video each week so stay tuned and talk to you later